Econex part 6 how to download revision the document in Econex Hi, I'm Trev Gare. I'm going to show you how to upload a new document into the register in Econex. A document is usually something that goes through a revision process. For example, drawings, briefs, schedules, specifications. Your project instruction document, which is available in your document register, defines the protocols to follow for document numbers, document titles, document types, statuses and disciplines when uploading documents. When we're done uploading, we'll talk about what you might want to do next. So let's get started. Click Documents on the Module menu and under Actions, click Upload a new document. There are a number of fields that you must complete to be able to upload the document. These mandatory fields have highlighting. You'll also see an asterisk next to the field name. Let's enter the number for our document following the project protocols. Remember that this document number must be unique across the project. If your project is using our new document auto numbering feature, the document number field will show auto assigned. Visit Support Central for more information about this new feature. Now we'll put in the document title and complete the other required fields. We can also complete optional fields to provide more information about the document. This can help you to find the document later. All the document information you enter is fully searchable, so the more information you put in, the easier it is to find. Now, we'll locate the document file we want to upload and click Open. A quick check that we've added all of the necessary information about this document. Click the Upload button. Our document has been successfully uploaded and assigned this document number. Where do we go from here? Well, there's a few options. At this point, the document can only be viewed by project members in your organization. So if you want other members to have access, you'll need to transmit the document to them. Click this link to go directly to a pre-populated transmittals page so you can quickly make this document available to others. You might want to keep uploading other similar documents, keeping the current field information and just editing it instead of having to start from scratch. Click this link to go back to the upload document page with the same information entered ready for you to edit for the next document you want to upload. You can also view the details for this document on the document search page, which is what we'll do today. And there's our uploaded document showing all the information we specified for this upload. From here, we could open or view the document, look at the event log or document properties. We could create a transmittal or submit the document into a workflow. So there you are. I hope you're now confident with uploading a single document into Aconex. Take advantage of the new shortcut links to get a head start on the next step in your document management process. And you have an idea about what next steps are available to you. Don't forget to subscribe and like, share in order to upload my new next videos.